In this video I'll show you how to use Oscil and Orca to simulate UV visible spectra of azobenzene EZ isomers. The reference is shown on the screen. The first thing you do is start Oscil and under File select PTES Moline Scratch and start Moline. Now in Build Mode you can load a molecule from the library. The files we want are under heterocycles and the two diazo isomers are there. We load the E isomer and we save it under its own name. It's currently p-test. So 1E diazo is the name we've given it and if you save that you then change back to the p-test job under open existing job and purge the p-test job in build mode to clear it and now click the middle of the screen and um, load a molecule from the library again and this time we load the other isomer, the z-isomer. Now the next thing we do is save this one just as we save the other one. The quickest thing is to use the old name of the e-isomer and change the e to a z and save. Now if we go to the ARCA menu and new input and select UV visible spectrum and calculate spectrum and then save and in ARCA queue delete the ARCA queue and then add the current job to the ARCA queue. There's now one job in the ARCA queue. If we change to the other isomer and open it and again go to the ARCA menu, new input and again calculate spectrum and UV visible spectrum and save it and now add it to the ARCA queue. There are now two jobs in the ARCA queue. To run the ARCA queue just close Moline and in OSCIL click run ARCA queue and the jobs start running takes a while but we've shortened it here. The two jobs are now finished. We click OK and there's no need to delete the ARCA queue. Now we can examine the jobs. We open Moline. To see this job go to ARCA, Properties, Update the Files and Plot the UV Visible Spectrum. You can see the longest wavelength peak is just beyond 400 in the Z-isomer. If we now load the E-isomer and again in the ARCA menu update the files and plot the visual spectrum we see the longest wavelength peaks now beyond 500 nanometers. Now when you have a calculation of this type done files are written First of all, the spectra are available as PNG files. You can use these whatever way you want as PNG files and you can see they're simple to use. Now in the LST section of the, of the folder you can find two files, a small one and a big one. The small one is the result of the ARCA calculation but it's not a UV visible spectrum as we know them to make a real spectrum you need to convolute it and that's done in the larger file. If you control A, control C and copy it and paste it into Excel and then use data, text to columns, fixed width, we have two columns and do the same for the other job, open the other UVFIS list file and again Control A, Control C, and you can close that. And in Excel, paste this in column D. And again, use data, text to columns, fixed width. And now press Control and select columns A, B, and E, and then insert XY plot, and you can see. 
that the two results are compared now. I hope you find this useful. You can read more of the theory in the ORCA manual and ORCA tutorials.